Hi Cannon Follow fans, it's Raz calling from Cardiff. Wow. Um, are we really surprised at the result? Now I never ever back my team to lose. I would rather say they'll draw. If I'm really, really optimistic, I always say that they'll win. However, with this North London derby, it turned out to be a horror show for all the wrong reasons. Alex, let's get into the video. Okay, so a very, very, very bitter pill to swallow. So I will be using rather expletive languages. I'm only joking. I wish I could. Um, the depth of feeling at this moment in time is one of it's continuing frustration. We have got a team that um, Arteta picked. Now, Thursday, Thursday night against Rapid Vienna, um, we put a rather good performance. And I did say, um, for, for you guys who uh, saw us on the post-match um, episode, as it were, um, to say that uh, it was Rapid Vienna, you know, let's not get too carried away. We've got a really big game against, I will say the word now, Tottenham. And I, I was quite optimistic for a draw. Purely because of what I saw on the night. We had Cedric playing defence. We had um, El Nene, memory serves me. We had El Nene. We had uh, Ashley Maitland Niles. We put the youngsters on. Emma Smith Rowe. Niketi was on, scored. He went off. We had um, Reese Nelson. So to me, that was a really good way of looking at how the youngster is going to be integrated into the first team because at this moment sorry at this moment in time the first team is diabolical and there's other words we can use as well we have got a defender in Saliba playing in the under 23s um, who's not featuring at all we've got a midfield of Xhaka who's been paired up with so many partners in the past it's like having an old lover <laughs> come in number number 69 because you know number 1 to 68 they've you know can only stay for so long and it seems to be more apparent that he is at fault He's meant to be the captain. He said what he said at that match. And now, I look at his performances and I'm, I'm, I'm totally underwhelmed. Then we had Lacazette, who was dropped. Um, and he scored a wonder goal. Which, if you look at it, the wonder goal that he scored, Tottenham scored this, did the same thing. Now, with... Lacazette scoring and the team bubbling forward, you would think that Arteta would say, right, we're going away, we're playing at their ground, it's a North London derby, spine of the team, we're going to be without Partey because Partey is still injured. Oh, hang on a minute now, he's going to make it. And I'm thinking, he was about 80% fit. And for a North London derby, you want everyone to be fit. And he was in the team. I was thinking, okay, well, he was in the team. But caution. Caution. And the thing with Arsenal is either they start right or they start wrong. I didn't see the match. I'm glad in a sense I didn't see it. I only saw the highlights and the highlights was bad enough. When you have defenders dropping off, let's, let, me put, let me put it in real straight terms. Mourinho is no master tactician. He's been doing the same tactics at Man City, sorry, big pardon, at Man United, 
at Chelsea and now at Tottenham. Everybody is no surprise at the way he plays. It really isn't. And yet, everyone gets suckered in. And Arsenal, of course, we get suckered in. I, it beggars belief. So you got um, Song going on a run and you've got defenders backing off. This guy is not Maradona, he's not Pele. You know, you stand in front, when you're a defender, you're, you're, def you're defending, so you attack. No, we back off and he scores a worldie. And you know what? Alex could have scored a worldie. My nephew could score the worldie because you're dropping off and you're giving a space to hit a target. So it's not really a worldie, it's a gift. And then the second goal, um, Bellerin was was running, trying to place a cross to Ab Abamyang that went behind him. Um, and they started their attack. And we all dropped off. And at that time of the attack, Partey was trying to get off the pitch because he was injured. And Arteta was pushing the man back on. For what I saw, he's pushing the man back on, thinking, why are you pushing Partey? And the guy is clearly injured. You couldn't write this script. And then who's going to score? Who's the, the main ghost scorer? in North London Derby is now, at present, it's Kane. Game over. All by the first half. So, we've got Dundalk <laughs> away. Are we gonna play the youngsters? We've got Burnley on Sunday. Are we gonna play the youngsters? Arteta, are you going to start realising that the players that you put your faith in are no good? Is it written in their contract that no matter how bad they play, they, they are entitled to play for as many matches as possible? We are now 15th. This is danger zone time. And no one seems to be understanding that this is really, really beyond belief. But I support the club. We all do. These are tough times. I'm not in the brigade of getting Arteta out. I want the dead wood out. Alex says he doesn't like using that term. But I'm using that term because that's who they are. Berrien can't throw. Xhaka can't turn. Abamian can't score. So what do you do? We, we give the team to you guys. You guys who are viewing this, this, this segment. And... You know, you support us on Cam4 TV or any kind of Arsenal fan um, blog at this moment in time. The team's in your hands. What would you do? Some of you would want to get rid of the manager. Forget about getting rid of the manager. Look at the players. Look at the players. Look at the players who have been there long enough to know better and still can't throw a ball. Look at the players who, after signing a contract, their form has dropped. Look at Willian. We're getting Chelsea rejects. You tell me a successful Chelsea reject in the Arsenal team. Tell me. Or a Man United. It's all there. Again. And this story is going to be on repeat until God knows. God knows. Okay, I've ranted long enough. This video seems to be getting longer and longer. If you like what we do, please support the channel. Press the notification button. Alex has been doing fantastic work on this channel, Cannon Fire TV. Um, Monty, David, our moderators. Uh, James Rowe, you know, uh, Mube Guna, all the Arsenal fans, those here and around the world as well. So, we go again. We're meant to go forward. We've got to keep our chins up. God, I wish I was playing for Arsenal because I would literally tear everyone a new one. Okay, it's Raz from Cardiff signing out.
This is Raz Quinn from the Emirates in the press media section for Canon Fuller TV. Not breaking news, Emirates news.